guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Peachy and this channel is all about my Sylvanian Families collection. In today's video we're going to be unboxing the other new remint set that I got from Japan and I've got two helpers with me as well. So we've got Christopher Apple Blossom and Veronica Cake Bread and they're going to help us demonstrate the scale. So I think this set released quite recently though I've not got an exact release date for it. Uh, if we take a closer look at the box, on the front here you can see that there's eight different varieties that you could get in this set and the theme is sweets recipes. Um, I've got the complete set here so I bought this as a whole box. I really liked particularly this half iced cake and the egg being cracked into the bowl. I thought these would be really good for kind of dynamic kitchen scenes since all of the options have a kind of food item in the process of being made. You can see on the side there's this kind of kitchen counter piece you can make and some of the accessories here. I really like these little strawberries. And on the back there's some more of the pieces that come in the set. Another side piece here. Some nice utensils as well, I like this measuring jug. So the box folds out to make this kind of kitchen set with the background, the floor and this little kitchen counter that you can put together. And then here's just another kind of image on the top of the box that shows some of the accessories up close. So let's get this open. So the packaging on the little smaller boxes inside matches kind of the theming on the rest of the box. It's very cute. I like the kind of mint and pink colour scheme on the front here. And again the sides show you all the different options that you can get. So I've gone ahead and created a little space for demonstration purposes. So the flooring card and the backing card are from the Remint box. And then this kitchen counter is a Sylvanian Family's. A furniture item and I thought this would be good for using to check the scale as well as the figures and it looks like they're on a little TV show now and they've got their little pre-built set so without further ado let's get started opening these boxes up so we've got the number one shortcake and it comes with this little book that shows you the item and then also there's some pieces to cut out here. So these aren't perforated like they are for Sylvanian family so you actually have to get scissors out and cut them out. But these are nice, it looks like it's a little recipe card that's double sided that you can fold and then a coaster and what looks like a cute little maybe shopping list of ingredients you might need. And then here's the items themselves. So there's the cake and all the little pieces. So let's get them out of this plastic. So we have the cake stand, which just clips together. quite a plain plastic but it feels quite sturdy it clips in and then doesn't come apart very easily then we've got the cake item itself which is being iced and the detail on this is really lovely so there's the buttercream in the middle and then the icing I don't know whether it's going to show up on camera so well but it's not fully smooth it really does look like it's just been kind of put on there or in the process of being put on there that's really cool. Then it also comes with a little pink plate. Plain but very nice. A nice slice of cake. The strawberry on top's really cute and the cream. Again, really nicely detailed on the food piece here. 
two tiny little strawberries. I just need to get them on my hand to be able to show you, but they are really nicely detailed and very cute. I don't think I have any loose strawberries for my Sylvanians, so that's exciting. I always like it when I've got an accessory that I haven't got before. There's a little fork, and it's a cake fork with the three prongs for the slice of cake. And also, I think this is a palette knife. And that is used for icing the cake. So in terms of scale, let's have Christopher come forward. The scale on these looks really good. The cake is just the right size for Veronica there, the strawberries too. So we're off to a very positive start. Let's move on to box number two. So this one is number five, meringue cookies. Very cute. So let's have a look at the accessories. So first up is this very nicely detailed baking tray. It's got some moulding in it to look like the kind of lines going across. There's also a mixing bowl. I really like the type of plastic they've used on this. It looks very much like metal, which is cool. There's some whipping cream and that fits into the bowl so you can either have the bowl empty or with the cream in and you can see there's indentations in the cream and that is for this little hand mixer and those do fit into those indentations so that's really lovely attention to detail. The hand mixer itself is two colours, it's pink and white which is one of my favourite combinations so I love this. Nicely detailed, it's got like a little switch here and then it's got the blades. There's this piping bag with icing being piped out of it. Again, really lovely and detailed. And then finally, there's these four tiny cookies. So two dogs and two paw prints. And I thought that was quite apt for Sylvanian families, especially as this one here does look a little bit like Mrs. Cake Bread. So in terms of scale, I'm going to grab Mrs. Cake Bread and the hand mixer. And the scale on this looks really good I think. Obviously she can't hold it because she's got flat hands and it's not quite the right shape. But with a little bit of help I think that would look really good in a display. The bowl as well, all a very good size, and the baking tray. Let's pop them on the table and see how that looks. I think we're only going to be able to put two sets on the table uh, at a time, otherwise it's going to get a little bit overly full. But I think it's working well for demonstrations purposes. And then Veronica can maybe hold the little icing bag. Yeah. So that looks really cute. Very nice busy worktop now. Again, I think the scale looks really great. Really happy with the detail on these so far as well. Absolutely lovely. Let's get on to box number three. So this is number two, bear cookies. And this one has a box that you need to cut out and fold. And I think that's for uh, butter, potentially. And then this one comes with a wooden effect chopping board. So it's made of plastic, but I think that really does look like wood. I love the grain detailing on it. That's really lovely. 
uh, some dough with a bear shape cut out. Again, that looks really nice and detailed and there's an indentation there for the rolling pin that we'll see in a minute. I think this is a lid to a jar. I haven't found the jar yet. Oh, here it is. Here's the jar and the little lid that goes on the top. And this one also came with a sticker which is for this jar. So these are going to be almonds. And here's the little almonds to go inside. And that lid sits on there quite firmly. Pop the sticker on that in a minute. This I love, this open butter. So you can see that it's in the foil which is really cool. Love that, that's a great accessory rolling pin. This isn't too dissimilar to Zewanian Family's ones. Teeny tiny bear cookie cutter. This I love and it's that same metallic plastic again. Really like that. And that presumably fits. Yep, that fits in the dough shaped hole. And then we've got the cookies. So here are two that are already holding things ready to be baked. So it looks like a cherry and an almond. And here is the one that has been cut out of the dough. So again, scale wise, it looks great. The rolling pin will sit nicely in that divot as well to stop it rolling away. Another really cute set. So here's the one that we've got now and it's come with this egg piece that I'm really excited to take a look at. Comes with some more cutout pieces, so like a placemat kind of thing, and um, here's the recipe book. Can we just talk about this? I love how it looks like a little Instagram post, so the Zobanians could be posting these on their Instagram. Love that. Uh, this one also came with some stickers, and they've got a really cute picture on them of a little cat with a whisk. So that's very Sylvanian appropriate as well. And these are to go on this little bottle here, which I'm presuming is caramel. There's a nice plate. I like the shape on this one and the details. It's a little bit more detailed than the one we got earlier. A mixing bowl and it's got a little pouring part here. And this is egg and you can have it either in the mixing bowl or not however you choose and then here is the bit I was looking forward to the most this little egg being cracked that's such a cool prop or accessory love that here is the little mixing jug and this looks super realistic I have one just like this in real life and this comes with what I presume is milk, which can slot in it. Oops, I've done it wrong. There we go. So it can either be empty or with ingredients in. And then, I'm not sure what you call these. We usually call them like caramel puddings. But you get two of those kind of moulded and also the little mould that they would go in. And they fit in there perfectly and then you can also turn them out. So let's have a look at the scale. Let's have Christopher cracking this egg. And he can obviously do it one handed because he is a pro. That looks really cool. It's a great size. And then if we pop everything else on the table. So we are running out of space a little bit. But the 
egg in the bowl. Yeah, once again, it looks like it's right at home here. Fits in really well. It's probably the same scale as Sylvanian families, actually. So this one is fruit jelly and it comes with pieces here so this box is here and you have to fold it yourself and then there's also some stickers well sticker for the little can so you get this lovely large plate and I really like the blue detailing around the edge that's what the jelly is being turned out onto you also get the jelly mold and that fits perfectly on this plate to turn it out. Here's the can. Obviously this will look a lot better once it's got the sticker on it, but even the plastic that they've used for this is a very nice gold color. Cute little saucepan. I love the color on this again with the pink and the white and the wooden handle. And this comes with jelly that you could be pouring, so you can either have it empty or with the jelly in and you could be pouring that into the mould and then finally the jelly piece itself and this is really cool this really does look like jelly apart from the fact that it's not wobbly lots of cool pieces of fruit in there and it fits exactly into the mould and you can look like you're pouring it so again in terms of scale everything fits perfectly with the Sylvanians. So another 10 out of 10 for this one. So this one is bare bread rolls. And again, it comes with a recipe card to cut out and fold and also some pieces that look like they go on the table, kind of like placemats. This one comes with another of the glass mixing bowls, plastic but obviously meant to look like it's made of glass. And this one comes with this lovely dough that fits in it nicely. So you can either have it empty or with the dough. It comes with this adorable little timer heart shaped, very cute. I like the detail on this a lot with the buttons. Comes with an individual bare bread roll. Comes with the dish that they're to be baked in. Love the yellow on this one. It's really nice and bright. And then a larger piece that slots in with all of them together. And then this individual piece can also fit in as well. And then the final thing it comes with is a little icing pen. So I think this is meant to be chocolate. And this looks really similar to the Sylvanian branded one. Uh, I think we got one in a gachapon not that long ago. And it, yeah, it looks very similar to that. So in terms of scale, I've just popped them all on the table, but I think we've kind of worked out by now that this particular set of scale is uh, great for Sylvanians. Absolutely kind of perfect match. So here we've got sweet potato cakes and this one comes with a lot of accessories. Again, recipe card to cut out and another kind of placemat to put underneath it. This one comes with a sticker. So this is for milk carton, which is here. This is very reminiscent. This and the boxes are very reminiscent of uh, the Sylvanian ones. So if you're well versed in doing the Sylvanian stickers and boxes, then these will not be a challenge for you as it works very similarly comes with this wire cooling rack which I absolutely love. This is super detailed. Kitchen utensils. And 
another mixing bowl and this one comes with the kind of potato mash you can see it being mashed with this and there's an indent in there of this particular utensil masher comes with two that are ready baked and on the cooling rack and it comes with this container which I'm guessing is for flour and it's got this lovely wood effect uh, lid which is very similar to the wood effect on the chopping board that we saw earlier and so it comes with the flour which you can slot in it and a little spoon and an indentation in here for scooping out. So it has a little notch so the spoon can stay in the uh, pot, safekeeping. Would have been nice to have this kind of marked with what it is, flour or sugar, like a sticker or something, but a very minor complaint. So if we pop this one onto the table, which I've cleared again as it was getting very full. This one's got some quite uh, sizable pieces, so it's a little bit trickier to get it all on there than we have with the other ones we've done previously. But there we go, again, scale is really great. Veronica and Christopher are going to be super busy with all of this baking to finish off and now we've only got one box left to do. The final one is the chocolate fondant that comes with all these accessories here. So first up, a big silver mixing bowl and this has melted chocolate in it, fits in nicely in there. So got a nice mint green plate, quite similar to the pink one we got earlier. There's a spatula, it's a lovely pale pink colour. Another cake fork, though slightly larger this time. Some teeny tiny berries, these look like raspberries to me. Chocolate fondant cake, and you can see it's got lovely powdered sugar detail on the top and the fondant in the middle just spilling out there. I think the detail on that is lovely, you can see the two different colours of chocolate better on the bottom. We've got the mould for making the cakes and cake that fits in it, like so. And then my favourite accessory from this one is this tiny little sieve. This is for sieving powdered sugar and it also comes with a little uh, thing of powdered sugar that you can put in it and tap out, like, well, pretend to tap out over the cake. If we pop this one on the table, again we can see the scale is really really good, I like the colours, they go especially well with Veronica here, and also like the kind of plated one we've got there. And yeah, that's all the different options. So here's everything we got again all laid out. And I thought it would be fun to set up a little kitchen scene and try and get as much of this as possible in there. So that's what we're going to do now.
and here we go I didn't even manage to get everything in but I got most of the accessories in and it makes for a very busy kitchen scene so I guess I could either set it up like this or probably what I'd more likely do is put it in a number of different houses because I don't think you would usually be baking this many different things all at once unless it was maybe a big party or something like that that could be fun uh, especially like at Christmas and Easter and stuff when they're making like a really big meal but overall I'm really really happy with this set I think the accessories are really nicely detailed I think the scale is really great for the Sylvanians and I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for similar sets to this in the future as they really just help bulk out the accessories for scenes and things especially ones like this where it's kind of part way through doing something let me know in the comments which of the eight of the sets was your favorite thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next time bye bye for now